Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Now I had the idea this morning of doing a quick tutorial on Finder windows, just how to get around them. I thought maybe some Mac beginners could get some tips on how to use the Finder windows and view their files and folders. What I didn't expect was to learn a few things myself. Let's take a look at this tutorial where I show you some basic quick little ways to get around in the Finder and some keyboard shortcuts. First let's take a look at the Finder window and some of the basics. There are four different ways to view files in the Finder window. Uh, you can do it by icons like this. You can click here and do it by column view. And in column view you have these little triangles that you can turn on to actually look and see what's inside the different folders. My favorite is column view. You can quickly navigate back and forth between things and you can use the arrow keys which is what I'm doing now. Left to go back, right, up and down. And then you can do the cover flow view which is kind of like iTunes. Now one of the basic handy things about the Finder window is the Places section right here. You can actually add your own things to this. So for instance, if this Projects folder is something we want to go to often, we can simply drag it here or use Command T to move it there. And we drop it in there and all we need to do is click on Projects and we instantly go to there in any Finder window. To get rid of something out of the sidebar tab here, all we need to do is drag it out. And we'll... Now, once you're inside one of these folders that's indicated here in the sidebar, there's no way to navigate back. You can't go back or up. So if you want to actually get up, what you need to do is you need to click here at the top where the name of the window is. And you can actually go up to any level you want. It will open a new window for you. Another really cool feature of Finder Windows is they act kind of like web browsers with forward and back buttons. You can see them right here. So for instance if I go into Project 1, into the Art folder, and then I look in the Sound folder, I can actually reverse those steps. Go back and back. And this will work even if I go and I say go to the desktop from there and I want to go back to what I was looking at last time. So it's really handy. If you mistakenly go to another folder or another place on your drive and you want to get back to your last view, you can use one of these two, win two buttons here to go back and forth. You can also use Command and the right bracket or Command and the left bracket as shortcut keys for these. Now anybody that works in a windowed operating system like Mac OS knows that uh, after a while you might have a whole bunch of windows open. So it's really uh, useful to know how to close them easily. Of course you can hit the red X button here. Hitting the minus button, the yellow one, will actually minimize it and stick it into the dock. So it's easy to get back but it's not taking advantage of screen real estate. Hitting the plus button will make it as large as possible, uh, taking up as mo much screen real estate as possible. However, you can also do shortcuts for the close. You can just simply do Command W. So Command W with your keyboard and the window goes away. Option plus Command W will close all the windows in the Finder. And you can also hold down the Option key and click on any of those red X's, the upper left hand corner of the windows to do the same. And also holding the Option key and hitting the minus will minimize all the windows in the Finder. Now if you prefer to type on a keyboard rather than click a mouse, you can actually navigate through the Finder quite easily with commands like Command Shift G. This will bring up this little window here and you can type in a full path through directory, usually starting with the word users and your username. And then you could do like documents and projects, project one, art. And it goes right to that folder. There are also some handy keyboard shortcuts for taking you to common folders on your drive. For instance, Command Shift plus H will take you to your home folder. Command Shift plus A takes you to your applications folder. And Command Shift plus U will take you to the utilities folder. Now, to quickly open a new Finder window, all you need to do is do Command N. And that will open up a new Finder window. Now you've got two. You can also do Command plus Shift plus N. That will create a new folder right there. And uh, that's a very useful thing. You can To get rid of that folder or to get rid of any file, you select it and hit Command Delete and it moves it to the trash. A lot easier than dragging it all the way there. Now finding out information about your files is pretty important. For instance if you have a simple text file here you can click on it. You can see a preview here to the right. Command Y will quickly open up a little preview window for you. I'll shrink it down so you can see it. So you can see what's inside. This will work for images and text documents and all sorts of different things to give you a quick preview. Also in the regular list view you can see a lot of information about it. You can move these, uh, these lines over to actually 
bring it into view. You can see the size, the kind, all of that. Hitting Command J will bring a preferences window open. And that will allow you to add things like version numbers and comments to your lists. But that's not all. There's a lot of other cool finder shortcuts out there. If you know of any that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear about it. Why don't you leave it as a comment to this post at the MacMost.com site. So if you're watching this video at another site, go to MacMost.com and take a look at the video there. Add some comments. Uh, maybe we'll get a huge list of all the different shortcuts because I know there's some that are pretty undocumented. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.